Good morning, everybody. It's Christian from Sun Education with the Four Majors Notes update for the 7th of August 2013. Going to be doing the Four Majors morning quickly using the Epix 8 Ultimate Template. Okay, starting with the Euro against US Dollar on our daily. Let's have a look and see what's been happening over the past couple of days and get a feel of what's likely to occur. So, after non from Parallel last week, what's been happening? Not a hell of a lot. We've seen price moving higher, don't get me wrong, but not really moving really high with a lot of movement. Uh, yesterday's candle heading up into price support and resistance levels. However, on the Asian session, we've seen a total relapse and prices pulling back again. And um, we're seeing a lot of consolidation here. Prior high that we saw back in June of this year, or latter part of June, to the low that we saw here on the start of July, or the 9th of July, 10th, you can see that the February trace went 23.6, the 38, the 50, the 61, and now the 76. You can see where price is trading right now. It's it's consolidated with the 76 points, uh, 78.6 mark, not really moving any further from that. And you can see the RMO has dropped. It's not making any higher higher histogram bars. And the MACD's completely failed, uh, trading lower below the zero line as we head into this consolidation. So we're seeing a bit of consolidation now as we try and head into these highs. If we continue to see this uh, continue the way it is, eventually what's going to likely occur is we're going to see price falling back and heading towards the major support and resistance level, which happens to be our weekly here at the 38.2 level, which is also complemented by our 61.8 in our daily fib. So imperative this is to be positive it needs to maintain above the 78.6 intraday you could see it's above it at the moment now it's got to use this level over here intraday as a support level so if i go into my four hour time frame just move that along so you can see it you can see price actually procrastinating around this area at the 78.6 no real value uh, it's tried to move higher but you can see quite clearly that on the close of that four hour candle it probably sucked in a lot of people to the upside thinking it was going to be a lot of buying sentiment However, that was not the case when price actually pulled back into the spinning top. And in this indecisive candle, and then we wanted to see a decision, it failed to give the decisive candle. And then what happened was price reverted back towards our 61.8. Moving higher yet again, still above the institution moving average is important. Still trading above the monthly and the weekly uh, FIB, which is also very, very important. However, very much consolidative. If we are truly to see a move for this particular pair against US dollar, we need to see a really bullish engulfing candle. A very a candle with a lot of momentum in it, and clearly you can see quite clearly uh, on the four hour you could see there is no true sentiment in these candles at all. All very very small, all very wicky, all very indecisive, and hence the reason why price is moving sideways. So the only thing that's really missing here from the euro against the US dollar is that bullish engulfing candle. So long term sentiment still looking positive upside. However, you can see that negativity in today. The R squared is not not complementing that negativity, so we are still very much indecisive. So here. Stand aside, wait for a nice bullish engulfing candle, ideally on a daily close. And if we do get that, then we can start looking towards these highs here on our weekly around the 50% uh, mark. And where price is trading right now to these levels, you're still looking at a healthy 200 pips. So be patient. Patience is a virtue here. It's vitally important that the price maintains, especially on the four hour and stuff like that, maintains its level above the 78.6 for the remainder of this week. Moving on to sterling on the daily. Here again, you've seen the same scenario play out on US, uh, the sterling against US dollar. Hesitation or resistance yet again at the at the 38.2 here on our red line, which happens to be our major support and resistance level FIB retracement on our weekly, which coincides with our institution moving average. Prices moved higher after non from payroll figures last week, however being capped by this 38.2 here at the 1541.20 mark. And yesterday's indecisive candle, we've seen a lot of negativity on the Asian session and prices heading back towards our monthly FIB. So intraday, this 23.6 year, our monthly FIB is going to be our support. If price can maintain above that level, then we could see a potential bounce back up to reattempt the prior highs we just come from. If price fails to find support at this monthly level here, just above the 1528 20 mark, and we don't see price actually finding support here as it's done in the past, then we could see price moving back towards our weekly FIB, which is down here at the 23.6, which would complement the institution moving up just as well you could see here on the chart very much negative there's more red than blue we are seeing a bit of four hour and hourly res uh, uh, movement in the opposite direction however the overall sentiment for sterling against the US dollar is look not looking too healthy the only thing that's going to be a saving grace potentially is the long-term fib retracement here the 23.6 which happens to be my monthly fib okay so that's going to be our support if frost fails to find support at this level and closes lower, ideally on a daily, 
then we should be looking for the remainder of this week towards these levels to the downside, potentially to the uh, the institutional moving average, which is 70 pips away, but ultimately to that weekly level, which is a good 94 pips and change. Here's dollar Swiss franc. Here again, further consolidation at this level. We've seen a lot of consolidation here. I mentioned it last week. So a lot of consolidation at this level. Price has moved lower, however, not very convincingly. Uh, I expect to see more of a, bull, a bearish engulfing candle. That's what we expect to see, a nice breakout to the downside. But then we failed to get that. We did get a break, don't get me wrong, but it's a very tentative break. Not doing it with a lot of true sentiment. Still very much uh, speculative. And you can see on the Asian session last night, we're seeing the US dollar rally against the Swiss franc. However, if this is still to be negative, and you can see quite clearly it's still looking negative, everything above price, including our institution moving average, the overall sentiment is still looking negative. We're seeing a positiveness buying sentiment intraday, but the R squared is not really complementing that. The only ones are the 5 and 15, so it's more of a knee jerk reaction. Ideally, that level here, the 23.6 that we're seeing right now, should remain maintained as a resistance. Okay, so looking at a 4 hour time frame and below. We want to see this level over here becoming a resistance. There's still another nine minutes to, until the four-hour candle closes. If the four-hour candle closes above, we're still very much in indecisive territory because it's back up against it above the weekly. We want to see price of this to be genuinely long-term negative. negative and you can quite clearly see on the RMO below the zero line, MACD below. We will need to see a bearish engulfing candle close lower. Failure to do so is we would more than likely see price consolidating yet again at this level, which it has been doing for the last week or so. So. Don't want to be sucking into your trades. Rather wait patiently. Get that bearish engulfing candle closed lower than trade south. If not, bullish engulfing candle closed higher. And then we could trade back up towards the institution moving average, which is where price has been moving to on the bounce. Bounce up, bounce up towards this institution moving average. But we have to see a clear bullish engulfing candle close above this level to see any potential trades intraday on the hourly 30 minute, etc. to these levels above here. US dollar Japanese yen here again moving lower. We have seen a bit of consolidation and yesterday's candle breaking or oh, yesterday's candle breaking lower than that in towards the weekly and the Asian session taking that momentum through. This is what we're looking for, guys. A lot of negativity with true sentiment. So as it stands now, if if, if price can maintain below the 23.60 on the weekly support and resistance fib on the four hour, get below that. That level now should maintain as our resistance level intraday. If we get a pullback and it stays below this level here, then target for the foreseeable remainder of this week towards your monthly low here, which is at the 38.2 at the 94.070. And that is, my friends, a good way away. We're looking at 277 pips and change. Take away your spread. You're still walking away with a good, decent 270, 265 pips. So if this 4-hour candle closes lower, Expect potentially a pullback at the underside. Price support needs to become a new resistance. The resistance needs to be the 23.60 at the weekly fib. And then look for a nice hourly bearish engulfing candle to complement that. And then look to see those trades move to the downside. That's it on the four, pay, uh, four majors this morning. Look at the news to see if there's anything out there that could really move the market, guys. Very, very important. And Back it up with some money management. This is a great template, but you've got to follow money management rules with it. With anything that you trade, any template out there that you trade, you have to back it up with some money management. Other than that, keep it as simple as possible. Look at major support and resistance levels on your weeklies, your monthlies, and complement that with only any major support and resistance levels on your daily. So, so, so important. Don't, don't pile your, your, your charts with a lot of analysis. Just keep it as simple as possible. Apply this template if you are using it. If you are interested in trying to get your hands on it, please drop us an email at info at sereneeducation.com for further information. Other than that, I'm going to leave you to it. Have a fantastic trading day, and I'll catch you guys first thing tomorrow morning. And until then, you guys trade serenely.